Flappy Bird is one of the most frustrating games, and I always want to achieve a high score of 100. Unfortunately, that never happened, but today I can make dreams become a reality by using my hacking skills. So let's get started. So the plan for this is to use a god mode exploit, which is a video game cheat that makes the player invincible. And for example, in Call of Duty, this means that if you get shot, you don't take any damage, but you can still damage the other player. Whereas in Flappy Bird, if I run into a green pipe, the game won't end, and therefore I can continue and get my high score. Obviously my first and biggest challenge is praying that I don't download a virus right now. So fingers crossed. The second biggest challenge was actually running Flappy Bird. And for whatever reason, Android virtual devices did not like Flappy Bird, which meant I had to go get a physical device over a hundred miles away. <sighs> Bollocks. And so off I skedaddled. Once I had the device, I was able to confirm that Flappy Bird worked on it. And here is my first attempt playing it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just as terrible as I used to be. And after that abysmal attempt, we are now ready to start preparing to hack, with the first stage being rooting the device. Rooting the device will allow us higher privilege levels, which will be important in the second stage. So I might have had a slight issue rooting the device. As you can see in this top right here, it's at version 3.4. But I spent the last two hours trying to get it to work with the latest version. And I can tell you right now, that does not work. But yeah, in the end, we got it done, as you can see by that nice... Well, maybe not with my shit camera, but you can see it with that nice big green tick. Yes, great success. Our final preparation stage only takes three steps. Step one, download Frida. Step two, place it onto the device. And finally, step three, make sure we can run it. So we are finally ready to start creating our exploit. And what you're looking at right now is the decompiled code. Unfortunately, this code has been obfuscated which basically means that it's going to make it harder for us. But what we can do is rename some of these so that they make more sense. So for example, this F519A, which would be very difficult to remember, we can see here that this is just a delay. So if we were to just rename it here, then you can see this is a lot more readable. And I can just go through the entire application. And hopefully we can get to a point where, you know, it's somewhat understandable. The other thing that I can go and do is use a script like this one here, which will allow me to figure out all the classes that are currently loaded in the program. And I've already gone ahead and done that and got a few of note. So what I'm going to do is spend the next however long it takes, which might be quite a while, figure out how this program works. And hopefully we can figure out what part of the program is checking and looking to see if a collision has occurred. Okay, so far it's been going quite good and I've just had a little bit of a breakthrough. All of this stuff here, which is the game engine, is open source. And that means that I can basically take all of this code and put it in here and hopefully that will give me a really good understanding of how the application is working. So we've just had another massive breakthrough. The source code I was able to obtain, I was comparing against functions within this and one of those was playing the sound as you can see there and this translated back to something that i'd come across earlier which was these right here which you know i set to each of their different sounds and therefore these are the functions that play the different sounds which means that like play hit sounds must be called when the player hits something all of these sounds are called within within this uh, function right here. Hopefully I'll be able to detect a function that ends the game. And that means that we can hook that function so that, you know, we won't die. And it's pretty easy to figure out that the hit sound is the one that we're actually looking for. Because when we go and look at the application and the player hits a pipe, the hit sound is played and then the die sound is played directly after. And if we trace that back, we end up getting to this behemoth of a function. If you look right here, it calls this function that I've renamed hit pipe. If we scroll back up here, which returns a true or false statement. And I believe this is the one that is detecting whether we're hitting a pipe or not. But there's only one way to find out. So this is the phone right here. 
and this is the script. Let's click run and see what happens. It doesn't quite work. Something must have gone wrong. So let me see if I can go figure out how I can fix this. So I've rewritten the script to have return true. So this time around, what should happen? It should end the game straight away when the function is hooked. So let's see if that works this time around. So play and let's go. Yeah, so I die straight away, which clearly works. So I don't understand why it's not working when I return false. So the only other place that the hit sound is likely to be called is right here. So what I've done, every function in here I've hooked and I've just returned, so it won't do anything. However, this still runs, which is a little bit annoying, and I think that's probably the reason why it's happening. And one way around this is to decompile the code, modify this line, and then recompile it back together. So I'm going to see if I can find this and fix it as well. So this is the function right here in Smiley and you can match it up to that because it's B and it has one single parameter which is a float. I spent a little bit of time and I was able to find the line that was the culprit for the game not ending and after removing it, patching the game and placing it back on my device I was finally ready to run it again. So we've now got our patched version of Flappy Bird onto the phone and hopefully this is the last time that I have to run this command but we'll see about that. Here we go. Let's go! That is some fucking horrible sound. Ah. So yeah, <laughs> I managed it in the end. And I know this is going to sound really weird, but I am actually really proud of myself. This is the first time that I feel like I properly hacked an Android app. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.